got to say that it's been a, a, a real rough road, but at the same time, the experience that I've gained while being a DJ is unmatched, and I can't, I would never, you know what I'm saying, I would never go back to my past and change anything. Like, there's so many different people I've met, unique experiences that I've had um, as, as a DJ, and um, I just want to say that to anybody in here with a dream, just follow your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything. You know what I'm saying? No matter how you start off, just be confident in yourself and perfect your skill. Be, be like, if you're not skilled at it, if you don't practice and, and spend a lot of time on whatever it is that it is that you're passionate about, you're not gonna be able to master your craft. So that being said, like I spent hours and countless hours of time in my basement just sitting and just practicing and just trying to be a better person, a better teacher, and try to master this craft. And, that's taken me far. Like you said, I've been in Japan, I've been to Brazil, and I can sit there and remember the, the first time I ever mixed a record. I said, believe it in yourself. Make sure you believe in yourself. Whatever it is that you want to do, because you can do it. It's not that hard. Yes. I have a lot of favorite genres. To be honest with you, I listen to like hip hop, I listen to jazz, R and B. Um, my father is from Honduras, and my mother's family is from Jamaica, so I got a whole bunch of weird stuff going on in my head. When it comes to like Texas, my father's from Norman, and that's a Spanish speaking country, but he loves soap music. Like, he eat he, he, all day, all day. That's what that's it. And they don't, you know what I'm saying? They, like, if you go to Honduras, they listen to like the Spanish, the, the chops, and things of that nature. But um, I don't really have any particular favorite genre. I just like good music. I like music that has good content, with a good beat, and good delivery. I've been to places like Japan where it's nothing but Japanese people. For some reason, I was able to cater to them. I've been out there about three times before. Brazil, the internet, the internet, but you over there, you can play something like Michael Jackson and things of that nature, and you can feel it, you know what I'm saying, because those type of music that gets into your soul, into your body, so any type, all, I, I really enjoy all genres of music, honestly, and don't be scared in life, don't be scared of anything, there's no reason to be scared, like, even if you fall down, get back up, that's what life's about, when you was kids, you fell down, when you was like five, six months years old, six, six months, you fell down like every day, and you pushed yourself forward, you got up, but nowadays, a lot of people are too scared to fall. And you can't be scared to fall because that's what life's about. You, everybody goes through it. But as you guys get older, you're going to realize it. But life is like a puzzle. And until you start looking at the front of the box, you ain't going to figure it out. You got to look at the front of the box. Everybody, most of us have little pieces. You just got to put the pieces together. Every, there's people in your life that you need. There's people in your life that you don't need. There's some pieces of the puzzle that don't belong yet. But until you look at the front of the box and say, what am I doing with my life? It ain't going to come together. So I'm just saying, look at the front of the box, the puzzle. Life is a puzzle. Look at the box, take a deep breath, and figure out who you want to be and how you want to do this thing in regards to your life and how you want to progress. What type of person you want? You have, you have bumps in the road and things are going to happen where you say, man, you just feel like bogged down. But everybody around you goes through. Everybody has situations where they, they feel like things aren't going their way. You just got to sit back and just keep on fighting. And I'm just saying, fight for your dreams. That's it.